is I am. That's where I am, right there in the blue dot. Is a Bomba Burger. When you're at a campground and you use their washrooms, always, always. I'm in the back of the Uber driver here, Uber, Uber car, and we're going uh, way back to the RV, and her little puppy got in the back seat with me and sitting on my lap. This is Lucy Bell. I wonder if you're related to Charlie Bell, or Charlie Bell, Rosie Bell. <laughs> Charlie, you know, Charlie. Hey, Lucy Bell, you got scared of the bumps on the highway? I know, the road's not good. She's a Pikachu. You're a Pikachu? I had a chihuahua, I had a corgi chihuahua mix. You'll be okay, we're almost there. Oh yeah, I'll take that deep breath and it's okay. <laughs> You're probably like, what's that light? Okay, I'll turn the light off. Is it bothering you? So a couple hours ago, a police officer was here at the campground at this trailer across the street here. And two hours later, right now, now there's three cop cars. I don't know if it's the domestic or I talked to the police officer, he couldn't get into it with me, obviously. But uh, the neighbors are telling me that his poor wife passed away a few weeks ago. Hopefully everything works out for them all, in the end. Sheriff, Santa Rosa County. Anyways, I'm outside cleaning the barbecue. Man, I gotta do that more often. Three months of barbecuing. Grease, gross grease, back up. Ugh, stinks. Goodbye. Morning to folks, Lance here, Boom Dog with Boomer. RV tip of the day, number 489, I think I'm up to now. When you're at a campground and you use their washrooms, always, always bring a roll of toilet paper. Let me tell you why. So the other day, I had to go use the washroom. I was a bit of a hurry, you know what I mean? And I get in there, sit down, and there's no toilet paper. I hadn't gone yet, thank God. I run back to the motorhome, and I get my own. Because you never know, in that little dispensary, sometimes it's hidden, you can't see it until you look underneath, if there's any there, so. If you got big pockets, just carry a roll with you wherever you go probably easier that way or if you have a briefcase suitcase where you go or, or like a, a showering bag showering bag look at these beautiful trees they got here in this park there's three big three big ones here anyways I'm gonna go do my stuff and pack up the motorhome and get on the road let's go for a drive I'm leaving VK Village of Pensacola, the RV park here. Stayed here for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four nights. At a very good rate. For a very good uh, price for what you get here. She's done an excellent job of making this place. A few things need to be changed. Uh, nothing to really complain about. Okay, which way am I going here? Sorry, got to look up the GPS quickly. Oh, where'd it go? Why does it do that? Continue drive. Yes, please. Or resume drive. Six hundred meters. Turn left on Woodbine Road. Uh, which way is that though? Didn't s oh, Curry. I gotta go right. Okay. I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna go down to. Uh, Back down along the ocean in Pensacola. But first, I'm stopping at Guitar World, Guitar Center. I want to buy harmonica. All my friends online play harmonica, and I know how to play, but I haven't had one in years, so I'm going to go buy a new one. Then I'm going to go down to Florabama, check out that place. I know there's not going to be anybody there or do anything, but Charlie Grace said to check it out, take pictures at least. It's right on the beach. It's like a real big party bar. They have bands there. And it looks really cool. Then I'm going to take a ferry across one island to another island, or no, one island to the mainland. Okay, well, I have to listen to her. So I stopped here at the Guitar Center in the plaza, right behind me here. 
went in to look for a, a uh, harmonica, but they didn't have any. They don't have any long ones. I want a six inch long one. They only had four inches, <coughs> which was really weird. And then the guy told me there's two other guitar stores in town here, around the corner, really close, but uh, they're closed on Sunday, so. No, I'll have to try another guitar place uh, along the way. Maybe I'll find one in, uh, oh, I don't know where I'll find one in Mississippi, the home of the blues. We should have one. Anyways, I'm off to go see Floribama here. Let's get in the motorhome drive. Man, is it ever humid? I can feel the humidity, the stickiness in the air right now. Um, I was going to say, but it's overcast and the rain's coming. I have to check the rain. I think around 2 o'clock it's going to start raining. So. Anyways, this is the bar. It's been here for years apparently. Real party place in the summertime. And I got big, some, I don't know what that building is next to it, but, and then behind me here, where it's pouring rain in, you're not going to see nothing. There's the beach, but it says no beach access. How can it be a beach bar and have no beach access? There must be a different way to get down there. Either they just look like they're doing a lot of construction around this thing. But uh, let's wait for it to stop raining. Maybe five or ten minutes. You guys wait. Hold on, I promise. Thanks. Okay, more homes park. Uh, I gotta go check the menu. See how many people are in here. This is the main bar. And get some food. This is lunchtime. I'm still on my one third one no two o'clock here. But no two o'clock Eastern. But it's uh, one o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock central, which is where I am in now. But I'm gonna still uh, till I get way out west, I'm still going by night time for sleeping and eating and all that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, so this is Floribama. Exit only entrance. This is, what do they do here? Cover charge, please have IDs. What's in behind these? Oh, look at that, I can, uh, I'm gonna get a magic marker and write something on this wall, if it's still allowed. Look at all these people that are in love, they get their names up here and, I don't know if I get in trouble if I put a sticker around there. Cover charge. I guess that's where they, they had the bands back there. But it looks all under construction. On this day, they have a store here too, inside of here. Shirt. Oh, I gotta buy a shirt. Oh, look at these shirts. These are cool. Yeah, I think I buy a shirt. Long sleeve, white one. Well, let's go check out the restaurant first. Okay, but this is like the fifth time. Don't buy a GoPro. Oops. Okay, so anyway, I'm here at the Floribama. I'm inside this place. It's changed a little bit because some hurricanes that went through here years ago. It's all wooden structure, this whole thing. There's the big sign. They've got a restaurant in here. They had church service here this morning. That's where I'm going to go get a hamburger. It's not too busy. I'm going to have to go get my cushion though. <laughs> because they all got picnic tables. And a bar here. And a bar over here. And other things around here. This place is really iconic, I'm telling you. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, here's the entrance to the beach. Let's we'll do a quick walk out to the beach. More bars, more rests. Oh God, stop raining. Oh man, this place in the summertime, I bet you it's happening here. <laughs> this is really cool. Let's go to the beach. It's pretty foggy and windy. No, actually there's no wind anymore. Then they have uh, bands at this stage too as well over there. Man, I wish there was a band playing today. We'll check this out. Dun, dun. Oops, somebody's out fishing here. Look at this, they even got tables and chairs outside on the beach. Do you want to sell it here and have lunch? And another bar. Okay, I'm gonna walk in the sand. Look at this beautiful white sand. This beautiful white wet sand right now. Oh man, can you imagine this place partying with all the people? Huh. What's today? Sunday. And then they built these freaking buildings beside of it. They were, they probably weren't happy when that one got built. Taking away their views a bit. But, uh, oh well. No coolers are allowed through our licensed premises, thank you. Yeah. Let's go get some lunch. I'm starving now. 
but this place is awesome because there's another restaurant up there it looks a lot more busier and crowded but this one's okay the one in the tent it's pretty big so uh, of course a guy told me he goes uh, the best burger you'll ever have in your life everybody says that for some reason called the bomba burger so that's what i'm going to try hello everybody's friendly here so far look there's people waving hello I just made them YouTube famous. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I, I'm having psychic power, and this guy's name is Lance, yeah, which is mine too. Oh, it? <laughs> yep, I'm Lance. Best name in the world, right? It's a good club, I'll yep. let I gotta go get my seat, and I'm coming back to have your Bumba Burger. All right, dude. Cool, thanks, mate. I had to come out to the motorhome and get my cushion because all they have is tables in there. Nice for seating upstairs, but. I'm gonna sit near the van, maybe they'll start playing. That's funny, that guy's name was Lance. But he had a name type. Oh, my freaking hood is open. And then my, oh my God, I drove all that way with the freaking hood open. Cause I'm having a problem with my, uh, you know the alarm for, uh, you know the alarm for seat belts and all that? It keeps locking up for some reason and just continually ringing. Okay, where's the button? Okay, you guys don't, oh there it is. Uh, Shut! There we go. I get freaking grease all over my fingers. Gross. So there's a band, a band place here, but I don't know what time they're playing at. It's uh, one o'clock, one o seven. So I don't know how to. But this is a whole huge area, and I'm number thirteen. Lucky thirteen for lunch. I ordered the Bama Burger. Sounds pretty good. We'll see. I am a hamburger connoisseur. I got bacon on it too, though. So I don't know if uh, Lance, that guy Lance, said it's the best hamburger you'll ever have. I know, I've been eating a lot of hamburgers over 61 years, so. But I tell me my age again, sorry. This is a Bomba Burger. It's got bacon on top. One little slice. Oh, sorry, two little slices. Very crispy. That's okay, that's the way I like it. Oh, I got napkins. I gotta put my own mustard relish and ketchup on it. Oh, they have relish? We said we don't have, oh, it's mayonnaise. I thought that said relish. They don't have relish anywhere in the state of Florida. What is up with that? Can anybody explain that? Thanks very much. Okay, Charlie Grace said to go check out the room that has, where did, oh, there's another band? Band set up in here. Okay. She shows this is really, really strange. You're gonna be like, what the? I better turn my light on. Okay. There's bras hanging down from the ceiling everywhere. Hey, I remember that girl. Oh, that no, that was not. <laughs> yeah, I remember her. Oh, oh, and that's well, what? No, I'm just kidding. Look at all these bras just hanging here. What the heck? We got some D's, we got some A's. Oh, we got some double D's. <laughs> and we have some wigs. Okay, the question is... The question is... Did these women pull these off in the middle of the stage and throw them up there? Does anybody know how the bras got up on the rack? I think we'll have to Google that, I guess. <laughs> Oh, look at this band. It's got a nice little set of pearls. This, this place is cool. There's not a lot of uh, sitting room in this bar, but there is uh, upstairs. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, I'm in the upstairs. I'm, people coffee. I'm in the upstairs right now. Um, with the window view of the beach. Sit under there, take pictures. Ooh, it's nice and warm here. So sit up here, this is why I sit. This is my chair right here from now on. Next time I come, and the last time I come. It's gonna be right up there. Another, another bar over here. Oh, they can watch the band, which is really cool. I'm up here. Hello. Well, there's all the broads. 
I'm glad it's bras and not guys underwear. <laughs> That'd be gross. Ugh. Especially worn out ones. So apparently I was just told that the uh, women get drunk really bad and they uh, take the bras off. What is this? Is this another part of the restaurant? Oh, another part of the restaurant. And they just throw them up on the, uh, the rack up there. <sighs> well, I guess uh, if you're drunk enough, this place goes on forever. Literally. There's hallway after hallway and room after room. This is a this is a really look at these uh, skylights up here. These are neat. And there's another one there. That goes out back outside. And then this is another restaurant here. I'm gonna go check it out, but I'm not gonna record there because a lot of people are sitting there eating dinner. Got two guys playing guitar. One guy playing bongos in here. That's gonna be. <laughs> Gotta come back here in the summertime. Just fly down for a party. Or maybe a week. I'm gonna go back the way I came in. Oh, this is cool. This was the main bar that I just went in and had lunch with and all that and the maze that's in there. And then the, uh, they expanded it and they built two other, they got a Floribama Liquor and Lotto store over there and they got a Floribama Olay River Grill, another restaurant. And then a Floribama Water Sports. But the guy was telling me this thing was originally just a liquor store. That's how it all began. And they, and they put the restaurant beside the liquor store and then it just blew up. Started getting bands. 64. How many years is that now? So 70, 80, 90. 50 years this place has been here. That's pretty cool. Okay, I got one last thing to do here at the uh, Florabama. Florabama? Florabama? People are calling it different names. One more thing to do here before I get going. But well, what I need is a magic marker so you can write things on the walls because everything is wood in there. And everybody's written their names and stories and all kinds of stuff. So. Let me get a magic marker. I'm gonna get a couple just in case one dies out. So I've got Lance here. He's gonna to explain to me all about the bras upstairs. Well, I'm not gonna really explain Listen, about the bra. How that happened. We're not filming. You're not filming. Oh, you can't do that? No. What? It's fine for him to take pictures, but no filming. I'm here to get on the ferry, and uh, I'm not getting on the ferry. <laughs> because... They don't, they only have their little small ferry running right now. Their big ferry is up in dry dock getting repaired. That uses, that uh, takes motorhomes and stuff across the 45 minute. So I got a long drive around. Let's check the GPS and I'll tell you how long. So that's where I'm right now and I would have crossed right here to go to my next down. But, so it would have been like an hour and a half, but now it's going to be two and a half hours <laughs> to go all the way around. Oh well. Nothing you can do about it. So uh, what time is it? 3, uh, 4, 5, 5, 3, about 6 o'clock I'll arrive at the Boondockers welcome spot. Down the road. That's too bad. He, uh, he even took a picture of my motor home to see if I sent it to the captain of the ship, which is about an hour away, to see if he would take me. But uh, he says no. It won't fit on the boat. It only goes on the big ones. Oh well. What can you do? There is nothing wrong with your perception of reality. Do not attempt to adjust the illusion. We control the harmonics. We control your emotions. We will move you to the left. We will move you to the right. We can reduce the volume to a whisper or increase it to a deafening roar. Now is the time to submit quietly we control all you hear and feel. You are about to enter a great adventure and experience the awe and mystery. From your ultimate fantasies to your deepest fears, from which you may never return. I'm in Mississippi now. Can you guys see me? Turn my light on. That's a little bit better. I just entered Mississippi. I don't even remember going through uh, Alabama. Oh well. This is a 
thing, there's not very a lot of signs saying when you enter a different state. When I came down the East Coast, I saw hardly any signs saying I'm going to do this. I'm going from one state to another, but anyways. I'm Mississippi. I got an hour, 43 minute drive to my bird doctor's welcome in Gulfport.